guys welcome back to what i'm teaching this week this week we're talking about second grade lessons for the month of october but you'll be seeing this probably in november um but it's okay and so what we are doing this month is we are introducing so and me and we're doing some like fall pumpkin a little bit of halloween-ness going on so without further ado let's get started um on monday my kids come in and the first thing we do is actually salsa dancing because at, when i started this it was still hispanic heritage month and actually that's what we stopped doing last time so we're starting where we're like picking up where we left off and we're just doing a quick little salsa dance we just do um out together out together out together out together with our feet and then add little circles and then i'll have them keep going with the feet but we'll play the piano and then we'll play the drums and we'll play the bass and just different things like that um after that i'll tell them you know hey this is called salsa music and salsa music is a hispanic style of music we'll talk about what hispanic means um and i'll tell them last time you were here we learned a hispanic song that was in spanish and i'll say you know like let's see if anyone remembers it um and this song is quien es esa gente which i will link the um i have a whole google slides presentation down below so check you can check that out um so this song goes quien es esa gente que anda por allí hace mucho ruido no deja dormir um so this song is perfect for so and me and it also is helping us prep quarter rest because we don't know that one yet but we're, this is i think our first song with a quarter rest in it that's like pretty pronounced so that's really helpful um and the kids usually remember it and are really excited after we introduce it we'll put it on our body staff and show the highs and the lows and um i'll also have them point to the little dots on the screen oh which i have and i can show you wait please hold Aha. Uh -huh. okay so then we point to the little dots on the screen as we sing so that they can just remember the highs and the lows and then it will and it's just it, there's only two patterns so it's and this is a gente que anda por allí hace mucho ruido no deja dormir then i'll have them clap the rhythm along with me when we get to this part i do last time i pointed out that we don't have any words there but there's still a little beat um on the you can see better on the heart and so we'll just clap the rhythm back and forth and then i'll give them some rhythm sticks and we will play the song and clap the rhythm along with it and then after that i'm like great can you keep the beat with a different song and i will sing the song um dulce dulce which we're all doing in first grade and so the song goes dulce 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 mama dulce 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 mama Dulce, 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 chiquita, 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 chiquita. And so I'll just have them keep the beat, and then I'll have them keep the beat, and on it, chiquita, they'll um, play together. So we'll do sticks on the ground for the beat, and then sticks together for the rhythm at the end. That's just a quick little thing. And then I'm like, great, let's see if you can play along with the salsa music. And so in so we're gonna go actually more into this later but for salsa there is a clave rhythm it's usually played on the clave this is why it's called clave rhythm um and it's one two one two three one two one two three so we usually come up with different words to help us clap along with that so we just need like a two syllable word and a three syllable so we'll do like chocolate and ice cream chocolate and ice cream or um the one that i learned with the original lesson that i learned is bistec chuleta bistec chuleta which is um steak and pork chops and so those are fun and so we'll just clap uh, we'll play a couple of different ones i'll have the kids come up with a couple of different ones and then we'll stand up and play along with the song and then i'll have them if they are really in for a challenge we'll do the salsa two-step while playing the rhythm which is a really fun challenge and if you play on the clavis it's a lot louder than the rhythm six so they can hear it i don't have enough clavis for everyone to play which is why they're playing the rhythm six anyway um and then i'll come by and pick them up and that is it for day number one on tuesday the kids come in and we are listening to the song hey jack which is a music k8 song it is a super cute i will link it down below um and for today what we're doing is we're just keeping the beat on different parts of our body they're just following what i'm doing and then on the chorus they're playing the rhythm on their legs and the chorus goes boo shaka laka laka boo shaka laka laka boo shaka laka laka boo super cute super fun and this song is so much fun and they absolutely love it after that i read them the book five little pumpkins if you watched the video last week this one might sound familiar because we're doing a lot of the same things um but we're reading the book five little pumpkins and then after that i'm like great now 
this song is this um book is so short that we can actually add some actions to it so we add some actions to it um those actions are five little pumpkins sitting on a gate first one said oh my it's getting late the second one said there are witches in the air the third one said but we don't care the fourth one said let's run and run and run the fifth one said i'm ready for some fun woo with the wind and with the light and five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. So we'll go over that a couple times and then I'll have them um, take a seat and we'll keep the beat along with that. Then we'll keep the beat and I'll sing the song Pass the Pumpkin All Around, which goes, Pass the pumpkin all around, listen to the spooky sound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Will it stop on you? Boom. After we sing it a couple of times, then I'll have them trace the melody. So we'll just do, pass the pumpkin all around, listen to the spooky sound. And so we'll do that once or twice. And then I'm like, great, can you trace the melody to this song? And it's the song we sang yesterday. Um, and then we'll take it to the xylophones and play on the xylophone. So how I do that is we'll sing it and we'll do the ups and downs. Then we'll put it on our head, um, shoulders and our legs. Then I will play it on the xylophone and I'll have them match me. I'll show them the xylophone. We'll talk about how small is high, big is low, and that is science you should know. And so we'll like have them figure out like, okay, which is the high side, which is the low side. And I put sticky notes on so and me so that they know which ones are which. And so I'm like, great. So if these are, you know, if we know that Kian starts up high, which one is going to be the high side? And they can figure that out once we know that small is high and big is low and that is science you should know. Um, and which one's low so that, because I want them to know like, where do I start so that they can figure out how to play it. Um, and then again, I'll have them practice on their, I call it a lap xylophone. It's just in the air um, and just pretend it to play along with me. And then we'll actually go to the xylophones and they'll play along with me. And most of them can do that actually really well, especially when it's just so in me because it's just two notes and so it's really, really easy. Um, as long as they can remember which one to start with, then we're doing pretty well. Um, on Wednesday, they come in, we do Hey Jack again. And this time we're learning the words. So I'll just stop before each verse and tell them the words with a couple little actions so like um that go along with it so it's like hey jack what's up with that face you know just things that go along with the words easy easy peasy and then we'll go straight through the whole song after that we're pulling out the bingo chips and we are putting them on and we're creating the notation to go along with um Oh, usually I do a song, but for this one, I just had different patterns that we were doing because we already did all the songs we know. Um, and so we just used different patterns. I put them up, up on the board, um, like high, low, low, low. And so they'll make high, low, low, low on their boards. They're just white boards um, with bingo chips so that I can see who is, you know, identifying the high and the low and figuring out how that looks visually and all that kind of stuff. And most of them are pretty good at this point. And so we are finally finally presenting so and me if you've been watching for a while you know that i have wanted to do that for like two rotations and have not been able to just because just because they weren't quite ready and i didn't want to move on before they were ready and so this time they were ready and they really were and so i actually do introduce so and me so once i pick them up what i'll do let me show you um, so I just have the different patterns. I went ahead and figured out which patterns I was going to use and then just put little pumpkins on the screen so that I can show them the answer. Um, and then I, I'm trying out the whole like Melody Street idea. So this is Melody Street with our friend Octave. We'll count how many houses they are and notice that the first one and the last one are the same. Um, and then we'll, I'll show them this and I'm like, these are the first two people who moved to the neighborhood so and me and then i'll say like okay which one's higher up on the hill which one's lower on the hill are they right next to each other or are they a little bit further away um and so do the questions read all the little things on there and i'm like great so so and me are the real names for high and low and we actually have hand signs to go along with it so we call so this one and we call this one me they go along with it now in music we have this super cool thing called a staff and so i'll show them the staff and we'll take our hands and use our hands to have to talk about like on a line versus in a space. And so I'll show them what so and me look like on the staff. You tell them that they're copycats, so they're always 
matching. They're either both on a line or both in a space and they're always near each other, but they're not right next to each other because there's an empty spot here. And I go ahead and tell them, I'm like, there's gonna be a house here, but right now there's not. So <laughs> there's going to be someone here. We can't put it here yet. Um, and then I'll put some patterns up on the screen and I'll have the kids read them and they usually get that like right off the bat really really quickly which is excellent and then I will show them these patterns which go along with the song which which um which is our new song and then after they get that figured out I'm like great I'm gonna sing the song and so this song goes which which fell in a ditch picked up a penny and thought she was rich are you my children? Yes, we're your children. Are you my children? No, you old witch. Um, and so I like these little slides. This, by the way, is a um, Google Slides presentation that you can get in my TPT shop. I will link it down below. Um, but I love starting with this one when we do the words so that you can see the difference, like, and we'll talk about like who's talking for each one and then we'll sing straight through it my camera battery is flashing at me so um friday super quickly we go over the song which which we're looking at a couple of different patterns and i just show them two different patterns on the screen they tell me if i am singing number one or number two and i write that down as an assessment really quick little assessment we'll go over five little pumpkins we add some instruments which you can check out in the video about that down below so that we don't run out of battery space and then we go over um depending on how they've been doing we either play a chase game with which which or we play the passing game that goes with pass the pumpkin so pass the pumpkin you just pass the pumpkin to the beat um and then at the end whoever it lands on is out which which one person's the witch everyone else is on one side and when they say um no you old witch then they run across to the other side and the witch has to tag them if they get tagged they're out so i do they go from one side and they have to go tag the wall and i usually do it where i'm the witch so that i can control how crazy it is and then also no one else is offended because the kids are yelling no you old witch i don't really care um but you know i did i did have that thought so just kind of depending on how the class is doing and how rowdy they are really and truly i pick one of those options for game time i hope this video was helpful i will link everything down below as especially um pass the pumpkin quien es esa gente and which which all have presentations for google slides on my tpt shop um pass the pumpkin introduces quarter and eighth note and beat versus rhythm which which introduces so and me it has that whole like this is so and me this is exactly what everything is so you can check that one out and then canis esa gente also introduces so and me and quarteress so those are all in there and i will link them down below we have been loving all of them my second graders are obsessed with canis esa gente so definitely check those out and i will see you guys later bye